and then people wonder and I want to say yeah I got vaccinated and I put it onto a button so I can wear it all the time so they give you a sticker and I'm like that just goes away I'll put it on a button just move it that way anyway this is a one poem that I'm going to read from the new issue of CCND magazine that is titled the Garden of Eden the titles of issues come from accepted writings within it and I thought how deliciously ironic if I have for the Garden of Eden a Buddha statue for the front cover because it all depends on what you consider Eden I suppose. Um, so this is one, the first poem of mine within it, and it is titled Quintessential Symbol. <sighs> they first sculpted me from marble, half-dressed and looking perplexed. And after their empire lay in ruin, I lay in a cave, broken and forgotten, until some fool found me, found a league of men to piece me together again. I was only partially dressed, and after they came to save me, they left my arms shattered. They left me nothing to defend myself with. And you adore me. You call me Venus, though some of you may prefer to call me Aphrodite. They all think I am all about love, revealing myself half-naked to men, and I become the quintessential symbol of love to you fools. But you keep forgetting that they never gave me my arms back to protect myself from your wrath. I am now displayed, topless, and I cannot even cover myself or protect myself from your lurid eyes. You like me defenseless, forced to stay still as you expose me and decide to call my nudity art. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> That's what you men do. You took my arms, but what was in my left hand, the hand that was meant to write with such force? Well, I held an apple. Some of you may say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but some religious zealots may say I held fruit from the tree of knowledge. And so, you know, with my arms holding that apple and you le that you left shattered, know that I have a wisdom that you will never understand. Go ahead, get religious, because I understand right from wrong long before you unearthed me and left me incomplete. You should realize that exposing me like this is wrong, and you know it. I have a knowledge that you may never comprehend as you look at my broken form and only think that even though I'm incomplete, you can still objectify me. You stripped me of my any power to fight back, but I still have the knowledge that you will always lack. So try to put the pieces back together again, and you will n still never comprehend what you have done, because you will never learn the whole truth. That's the first piece quintessential book that is in this book, CCND Magazine. I should say hello to people that are watching on a Facebook live stream. Now I'm going to read two short ones that are new and I have no idea what they mean. So here we go. Um, this first one is titled On the Surface. Everyone seems, everything seems so perfect on the surface. You make sure on the surface you have it all. And without trying, you upstage everyone else. But no one sees what your mind goes through. Behind closed doors, you're falling apart. You fear you're losing your mind, but don't tell anyone. Your house of cards is too precariously balanced for anyone to ever consider it about to fall apart. Your life is supposed to be perfect. So, what then? short. <laughs> short. Oftentimes I'm reading pieces that uh, fit for prose for like Dawn of the Dirt magazine so that I'm sure was related to a story or something for a small space and I don't know what possessed me to write this one. Probably learning something sciencey. This is called Universe's Lost Love. So science explains that when an object is far enough away in our universe since the universe expands, nothing from that now far away object can ever reach us, even at the speed of light. So is it only now that I have been forced to contemplate my now lost love that we once had? It was spectacular. It was everything, the universe to me. 
now gone in the blink of an eye. <laughs> now, apart so long, I know that whatever my love, my lost love does, it will never reach me again, even at the speed of lights. There's my other short one. So, hi, thank you very much, and hello to all people watching in the live Facebook feed. This is Poetic License, and I want to thank each and every one of you for listening. I think.